you all. I want to try. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Unknown Smug, and I'm back at it with another video. So today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new banger where I did a test on no shot feedback because I heard no shot feedback gives you a slight boost to your shooting in terms i think it's like a plus four boost or something like that that's what i heard i don't know exactly the exact stats of it but i just know it still does give you a boost and you see like these dudes that we playing in this game are not that bad like it's, it's an ss1 playmaker a play shot and a stretch four although these dudes don't know that iso's dead in this game like it don't work anymore in this game and i'm gonna bring you guys a video as to why iso is dead this year but when i tell you guys as soon since i've turned this shot feedback off i have actually been going crazy like in, in games like I, i've been maybe missing max two shots or games where i shoot like let's say five for ten or stuff that's because like three shots or four shots i take are, are dumb shots when i have my takeover and i'm messing around but let's get right into this game you see me stepping back green light come on that's easy that's easy now that is gonna be weird for you guys seeing my green no greens on my perspective especially if I, I don't think i fade in this game but especially if i fade and green it you you don't even know it just looks like i'm hitting straight whites but you see me i'm trying to box this dude this dude was trying to get open for a three i don't know what i don't know what he thought he was gonna shoot there and same with that dude i don't know what he was stretched for he took that up so i'm like i'm like all right my boy coach want to go crazy with it. let him go he dots me in the corner that's easy green lights every single time you know what i'm saying when you don't have shot feedback on, I'm telling you guys right now, it is super important to get used to using a cue on your jump shot just because of the fact that you don't see any green lights or anything like that. So if you don't cue your shots, it's going to be super difficult to time like that to, to green. That's what I noticed at first when I put the no shot feedback on when I was going off of muscle memory. I wasn't really green like that. Then I just said, screw it. I'm going to go off cue every single time. I don't mind it that much, actually, because there's no distractions in a way to stop you from like going off a of cue. But you see, you see us boxing these dudes. We up 8-0. Right now, we already like... At this point in the game, you up 8-0, you think, ah, right, yeah, it's over with, it's an easy, this is an easy sweep, like, like, we, we gonna bop these dudes, but they actually came back, I can't lie, I, you know what I hate in park, let, let me just say one thing, I hate when people just straight double team in park and take twos, like, when they double team on the threes and just take twos in, par in park, meaning, like, ISO and just rim run, like, you see me stepping green, like, easy, Curry's like, I don't know where the center was going. That is so annoying because it doesn't take skill to do that, like, to just double team the guard and just take rim run, like, rim run and ISO that. Like, when people do that, it's super toxic, but, I mean... Like, look, he's just rim running. They're not really getting any threes up, but we straight right now because we we got a big we got a big lead on these dudes. So we like, all right, we we good. We gonna let them take their twos. So you see me? I'm trying to cook up on offense, low behind the back. Come on now, ah, big ones. Yeah, I should have greened that. I should have greened that four percent. I really should have greened that. But you gonna see? I'm gonna miss two shots this game. That's it. I'm gonna miss two shots this game. Other than that, you gonna see me bopping the dudes. I'm telling you guys shot feedback you eventually are gonna see all the youtubers are gonna turn their shot feedback off it's gonna be like bar off in 2k20 when that was first introduced in 2k20 it was like it was like an unknown thing people weren't doing it and then finally people took their bar off and like like they stay with them that that's how shot feedback is gonna be this year people are not used to it right now once they get used to it i'm telling you everybody's gonna be doing it so you see me, I'm trying to cook up, get some going, step back, full bar. Hey, can someone tell me how I'm a 95, how I got a 95 three-pointer, but yeah, I'm still getting full bars with a play, sh like, with a 95 three-pointer? Like, how does that, how does that work? I, I, I've gone in a full bar with my sharp take. How is that possible? Because if you guys don't know, full bars basically mean you timed it the best you could and you're not green, you're not green that shot. Look, I'm trying to cook up, dude, no, big crap, green light. I call that move the crab because that's why I used to crab people. But it's like a cro it's like a super like big crossover. But I like to call it the crab because I use that to crab people. You see, these, these dudes can't guard me. They they honestly they can't guard me. I, I'm boxing. I'm boxing this guy. The only only dude with the green is scoring. I, and the stretch big comes in with a big three. Big three making a two point game. I'm like, ah, you know it's a close game. Let me actually let me go crazy now. <laughs> Let me go crazy not playing around with these boys. I'm like, yeah, oh, no, nah, I could have had that shot, but I didn't want to take it. But, you know, we still going to curry slide. You know, curry slide, my favorite move. Curry slide is my favorite move. I mean, you can't hate on it. It's the most effective move in the game, bro. It's like it's like the aggressive behind the back last year. Everybody spent that all game at the beginning of the year, but it was the most effective move. See me dotting my boy, Coach Big Whites. Come on now. It's so weird, like, when, when your teammates fate like, 
fade or and stuff like that and you don't have the shot feedback on or you're playing defense because of the fact that like bro like i'll be playing defense and i'll get a contestant and i'm like i'm like yo what what was that contestant on that dude you see these dudes getting a th big three to, to make it a two-point game again but i got takeover when when smug got takeover the game is over watch this look 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 you think you can guard me come on now green light that's easy that's easy that's easy it's simple it's simple when i when i got takeover the game is over that's all i'm gonna say like I, I have the most confidence in getting up a three almost every single time when I got takeover. Even when I'm gonna double team, unless they straight up double like me, meaning like they say they say screw the screens, they just hold and double me. Then then that's when it's difficult. But it's 20 to 17. I'm like, ah, right, you know what, bet let's let's end it, let's end it here. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Look at this bop in the end, you know where you going, bro? Oh! Oh my god i'll catch you guys on my next video i'm out peace